Oh, hey guys. How y'all doing today? It's been a little while since I've done one of these, a little vlog. Uh, I just needed to grab this from my from my locker. I've got to do some quick checks for my exams, for my abnormal psych class. How y'all doing? Oh, man. Yes, this is a necktie that I'm wearing. Who would have thunk you'd ever see me wearing a necktie? But there's a reason for it. I got an interview today, and there are some rules when it comes to wearing neckties and bow ties and even colors that you wear in an interview. Let's talk about those things. But first, I got to actually prepare for the interview. So I'll talk to y'all about that in a minute. Just got done with the interview. Got to put this back right here on the locker. And uh, first thing that I got to do is just take... Uh, the necktie off it just doesn't fit me does it it's all about the bow tie but now I just gotta tie this necktie like a bow tie and I'll be all set for class but like I said before you don't wear bow ties in interviews but why so the reason why you don't wear bow ties in interviews is because of the unconscious perception that it gives somebody or they gives the interviewer and I am noticing that I look like I'm from the 70s with my collar popped out like that oh my goodness let me tell you all about the psychology the fashion psychology fashion psychology let me tell tell you all about fashion psychology and why you don't wear a bow tie into an interview bow ties they have a very stereotypical um, perception or a very simple typical type of person wears bow ties yes it could be a fashion statement <laughs> like I always make it but <laughs> people that wear bow ties are often seen by interviewers as someone who is I don't know a less serious less structured and that's just not a good thing that you want your interviewers to actually believe about you. You want them to actually think that you are a structured, very concrete type of person. And guess what type of tie puts that impression? A necktie. Neckties are the types of ties in which you want to use for all types of interviews. Bow ties have a long-standing history in academia and in the medical field. And it makes us seem more approachable. It makes us seem more caring. It makes us seem more um, fun, I guess you could say. But it's funny how those perceptions don't actually translate to the interview. It's crazy. Now I look more professorial. <laughs> now let's talk about colors. What color suits or dresses should you wear to an interview? Believe it or not, it matters, but I need to get a couple of things done. So let's go to the other room and I'll talk about colors. Come on, let's go already. What y'all waiting for? Come on. Can y'all be all knowing my password's the printer now, even though y'all need keys to get into this room. Gotta make some copies. Let's talk about colors, though, of your suits. While the printer's doing its thing, there are four colors when going to an interview and you wanna dress, there's four colors that you wanna stick to. Blue or navy, honestly navy, gray, white, and red. Printer finished fast. Okay, 
So let's talk about the two primary colors, blue and gray, navy. I want to keep saying navy because navy, it's better, okay? Because blue can be interpreted as a bunch of different shades. So navy colors, they give the interviewers an impression, 85%. It's said that 85% of an impression in an interview comes from the way that you dress. And navy gives across the, the feeling, I guess, or the aurora, 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 however you say that word, as being calm, stable, and confident. That's what the color navy projects onto someone else's unconsciousness, gray. Anywhere between a charcoal gray or medium gray is recommended for an interview. But why? So gray is a color that gives the impression of sophistication. Now sophistication is so important when um, being in an interview because you don't want your potential employee or your potential employer to think that you are well, just not sophisticated. They think that you don't want them to think that you're uh, a slob or anything. I mean, no offense, but this is not what you want them to think. Red is a color that projects power, aggression, desire, energy, and a little an, an overload of all of that can give a bad impression. So that's why navy and gray should be your primary colors when dressing for an interview. Red should be used as an accent color. You don't want to use too much red. Now, white is a color that, sh that gives off clarity. Okay. One second, I gotta open up this door. Again, white gives off a sense of clarity, also sophistication, um, goodness, I guess you could say. Uh, cleanliness is also uh, what white gives off. And white shouldn't be a primary color. That means you shouldn't be wearing a white suit. What you should wear is a white shirt. Okay, the white shirt to go under your jacket or a white shirt to go along with your skirt or your blouse. Wait, is a blouse would be a shirt. You know what I'm trying to say. White should not be the primary color. So your primary colors, navy, gray. Okay, accent color could be red. And your shirt should be white. Okay, now you don't want to give off a, a weird impression, right? So you don't want to wear these outlandish colors like orange or pink or or bright or even bright blue or bright red or purple in an interview so I have to get to class now I hope these tips have been helpful for when you go to an interview I think if you live by these rules of an interview and how to dress for an interview you'll be more successful of course you also got to ace the interview something that I have personally always struggled with. Interviews for me, I, I interview bad. That's all there is to it. I've never been, that's never really been a strong point for me is how or how to interview, how, how to interview. Um, so this interview that I just had, hopefully I did decent. I always have booked on my, or I've always have relied on my background and what I've done to speak volumes for me, but in this case, I don't know, I honestly don't know. And for those of you who are wondering as to what I'm interviewing for, or if I'm leaving the university, that's far from the truth. If, I'll give you an update as soon as I hear something from the search committee for the position that I played for. But regardless, I am not leaving the university. I'm still going to be an instructor here at UHD come next semester. All right, so I got to get to class, like I said. So enjoy some of this B-roll, and I will see y'all in the next video. Ciao.
place used to be Smoothie King. I miss Smoothie King. I forgot to mention one other color, black. You don't want to wear black in an interview. Why? Because black is a color that is associated with authority and that is something that you don't want to project to the interviewers because they can see it as an unconscious threat as you wanting to take their job. Not only that, but what color do you wear at your funeral usually? Black. So it also represents a very sad emotion and you don't want to project that, unconsciously project that onto your interviewers. Okay. That's all I got for y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Enjoy the rest of the beat row. Can't salute with my left hand. Ciao.